I'm here with uh, Dr. Scott Carter and I would like to discuss with him uh, what kind of enzymatic products Novus is uh, offering um, our readers. Scott, can you please tell us what kind of uh, en enzymatic products you have for poultry uh, nutrition? Sure. So I'll talk about what we have uh, presently, but what's really exciting to me is the future of where we're going with this as well. So let me talk about where we are right now. Um, uh, you know, any um, any nutritionist in the industry is concerned top line about a few key things: energy, protein, and uh, the energy and the protein that are going into his diets, and is he getting everything he can out of those uh, those components in his diet? Um, that's the essence of cost savings. In, uh, in a business right now that's very concerned about the cost of feed. So we do have energy enzymes. We do have a protease enzyme for protein digestion. Uh, Cybenza is our overall um, brand line. Uh, Cybenza CSM is one of our products for energy. Uh, Cybenza DP100 is one of our enzyme products for protein. And uh, as you would expect from, a, from enzyme products, you know, they have a clearly defined matrix that's associated with them that you can use for energy credits in dietary formulation and um, and you can use those to calibrate cost savings either on the energy side or on the protein side for um, for your poultry diets, swine diets and so on. But, but more importantly, uh, because I think you've got information on those, more importantly let me talk about the future of, uh, of these enzymes for us. Uh, we've just recently signed a uh, signed a, a long-term development agreement with a company called Verenium. Verenium are experts in the development of enzymes for industrial applications, and uh, and this partnership with them is really focused on they on the development side and we on the animal nutrition side, um, delivering the best quality uh, products for our industry and really the future enzyme products for our industry. Uh, Verenium has been, uh, has been involved in the development of blockbuster enzymes both from an energy uh, side and a phytase side in the past that are currently in the market and you could call them uh, really market leading uh, enzymes in those categories. And so we're really looking at um, uh, taking that even a step further with the new products that we'll have in the marketplace in the, let's call it the uh, near to middle term. Uh, these, th this company, we're really excited because they've got a track record of producing great enzyme products and we've got a track record of working closely with our customers from a nutrition and animal health perspective to get the most out of the technologies that are applied. Yeah. Okay, so we're talking about the future and we know that uh, the, uh, the feed industry in general is facing you know, a lot of problems with, with the high price of grains and all mm -hmm. that and all the market situation be mm -hmm. because of that. Uh, what do you foresee in terms of, the, of enzyme use? Mm -hmm. So in terms of en enzyme use, um, when you look at the evolution of enzyme, um, enzyme use, enzyme application in broiler diets, and take North America for example, uh, in uh, prior to 2008, we had maybe 20% use of enzymes in the in in poultry diets, in broiler diets in the U.S. That would be phytase and uh, and uh, carbohydrates of both. But we had that hit that inflection point in 2008 where feed costs really um, got out of control there for uh, for a few months. And uh, and you can look at independent independent statistical reporting services, and they'll show that phytase, for example, in broiler diets while common layer diets and broiler diets went from 25% usage to 85% usage. Um, uh, uh, energy enzymes took, a, took on a similar pattern in broiler diets. So there's, um, you know, th these simple pressures like uh, feed costs can really change the, the um, you know, change the landscape in a hurry. And I think the future for enzymes in the feed industry is only growing. Um, I don't think that we're, we're saturated. Um, I think that you're going to see new development of technologies, better heat stability perhaps, um, maybe even um, uh, extrusion stability, these kind of things that, that are going to be important developments for application. Um, but as well, the typical things around ease of use, 
targeting specific ingredients and specific uh, byproducts that exist and so on. These things are all, um, I think, all important to our industry and certainly are in our future. Yeah, and it might change uh, the future forever. Right. I mean, for good. I mean, because uh, people will get, will get used to use enzymes and it won't be just one more feed additive. It will, right. It will be part of the feed formulation. Right, right. And considering, uh, you know, aspects of sustainability and things like that, it will right. add up to, to all that. Right. I mean, the future of enzyme use is to get every amino acid and every calorie out of every ingredient you can in your diet. Right. And do that over, over the background of we're not in a corn soy world anymore. We've got more complex ingredients, we've got more byproduct ingredients. These ingredients are all changing um, and evolving over time. So uh, we're faced with two different tasks, getting every calorie and every amino acid uh, out of every, uh, every gram of feed we feed and doing that with a uh, much more varied um, ingredient pool than ever before. What do you think makes the difference of Novus's products compared to other products available in the market? Uh, that's a good question. I think it's a combination of two things. I think it is a combination of having great products, uh, great products that meet the needs of customers, and then working with them hand in hand to make sure that those products are applied correctly or used correctly and, uh, and are meeting the goals of those nutritionists. So any product, I don't think any product anymore can stand by itself. You need the complementary uh, expertise in how to use those, uh, those products uh, to get the most out of those products. Okay, it involves uh, providing a solution, a full, Absolutely. complete solution for, for the producer. Absolutely. Good. Any other things, Scott, you would like to add about your enzymatic products? No, I just, uh, I, I would say that again, I'm really looking forward to the future. I mean, we've got great products now and we've had a lot of success right now, but I'm also really looking to, towards the future uh, and the future that we're going to have with uh, this partnership with Perennial. Thank you very much. Thank you.